The improvement of bear surgery is the result of 16 years of research with Harvard and the Boston Children's Hospital. Previous efforts to repair the anterior cruciate ligament were unsuccessful. These included sutures or Gore-Tex grafts or other material trying to repair the ligament. Nonetheless, they didn't yield success and it was lost in history. In 2021, the bear procedure was approved by the FDA and became commercially available. The bear implant is a bovine collagen sponge. It acts like a scaffolding where sutured between the torn ACL and the bone, it allows your body to heal naturally the torn ligament back into place and restore the ACL back where it belongs. The bear protein sponge is a collagen implant that facilitates your body's own healing. Hydrated in whole blood, the graft allows your body to naturally heal the ACL stump back to its bony attachments. What this does is offer a less invasive approach to ACL surgery and it restores the patient's natural anatomy. Clinical studies in use of the bear procedure over six years have shown that the results are equivocal or equal to that of ACL reconstruction with a graft. That means through less invasive techniques, we can repair your ACL, save you the surgery requiring a graft, and offer you the same result in the long term. That result would include a stable, functional knee that allows for a full return to sports, activities, and the lifestyle you desire. The standard of care for 20 or 30 years has been ACL reconstruction. What that means is taking a tissue graft, a portion of your own body, to reconstruct the torn ligament. Previous efforts of repair were unsuccessful and it was shown that the ligament would not heal on its own. Rather, it was reconstructed or replaced with a piece of tissue. The bare implant is a scaffolding or a protein sponge sewn between the ACL and the bone. That allows for your body to heal naturally the torn ligament back in place. The advantages over ACL reconstruction are that it avoids graft harvest, no tissue from an unaffected part of your body is required to repair your ACL, and it's less invasive and uses regenerative techniques to heal your own body. Bridge Enhanced ACL Restoration is eligible for acute ACL tears. That means patients need to be within 50 days of the date of injury. Acute tears are helpful to repair because the inflammatory injury response is an adjunct in the healing. Growth factors, stem cells, and platelets from the injury help to facilitate healing through bare surgery, so those chronic tears, more than 50 or 60 days, are not eligible. Other criteria are age 12 to 65, so adults and adolescents alike are both eligible. And thirdly, there needs to be a tissue stump of the ACL remaining for us to suture. The MRI can often predict, and what we need is 40 or 50 percent of ligament remaining. Thankfully, most ACL injury patterns are in fact femoral avulsions, where the ligament is torn off of the femur, and a robust tissue stump still remains. BEAR-1 and BEAR-2 were randomized clinical trials performed by MIOC Orthopedics, the manufacturer of the BEAR implant. These trials were randomized. They took patients that had ACL tears and assigned them to two different groups those that received routine reconstructive surgery, and those that received the bridge-enhanced ACL restoration or the bare surgery. Once both groups were assessed after two years, the results were equivocal, meaning that bare surgery yielded the same satisfactory, stable knee results that ACL reconstruction did. We were the first location in the state of Colorado and the Rocky Mountain West to perform bare surgery in December of 2021. That gives us the longest follow-up as we approach six months for our 16-year-old high school student wrestler. Their results exceed or even beat those of what I would anticipate for routine ACL reconstruction. Since its origin or bringing bear surgery to the Steamboat Springs market in Northwest Colorado, we've been one of the leading sites nationwide in terms of the number of bear patients we've treated.